Hey, this is Jenny Jones with the Digital Marketing Tool Shed. What I want to do today is show you how to create a custom page, how to create a custom page in Easy Courses, right? And you may have heard of them. They're the hottest buzz right now for creating courses. You can create a lot of things in here. You can sell digital products, physical products. You can have communities available as well. But let me show you how to create a custom page. And you can do this with any page inside of there. All right, so what happened is once you log in, you get in the back office here, you're gonna to go to website, then you're gonna to go to um, all site pages right here. So once you get to all pages here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see some standard pages, you're gonna see some template pages and some generic pages. The first thing you wanna do is go to create page. All right, so let's do that. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to give it a um, you're going to publish it. You're going to make it either premium access to the page or you're going to make the page free. Right. Sorry, you can't see this because I got some stuff blurred out. I got some some private stuff there. So you're going to create the page name and you're going to create what kind of menu it's going to use. And I'm going to come back to that in a, in a little second here. And so this is uh, the privacy you're going to create it. It's going to be unpublished. You're going to make it for everyone. You're going to make it password protected, which that's the freedom that you have in creating a page. You can say, hey, everybody can't get to it or it's password protected. And then to even get to it, you can have a pay window here for free and premium. So let me create the page name and then we're going to come back. So what I've done is I've created a page called waiting list. Um, we'll make it uh, open to everyone um, and we'll just publish it once we're done. So let's go there. Let's do that. All right. So once that comes up, you have to have a vision for what you want your page to look like with any other template, right? So what I want to do is you can look over here. This kind of gives you a little cheat sheet here of what you want to look for. I created some templates, obviously, off the ones that uh, these are templates that are in there, but these are my templates that I started to save here. OK, so you can save any any page out as a template. So we can either start from scratch. I never like starting from scratch. I always kind of like to have a vision. But if this is going to be a um, a wait list type of page, then we might want to have something that's going to give us uh, um, an opportunity for people to sign up for something. So this is this could and we'll look at it here. These are lead magnet type of pages, right? And so you can do that and then you can start from there. This is let's take a look at this one. We'll look at it. And so this is one where you can actually put a video or a book or an ebook or, or something up there like that. And then you can come here and probably clean this up a little bit and have some other classes sign up today or something like that. But we'll do that. And I'm going to show you how you get the exact measurements of any um, template picture that you see that's already sitting nicely. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. So. So we can use that or we can use one like this. Let's view this one. All right. And so I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we can use something like this. Let's use this one. All right. And so we'll just use that. And we'll go insert here. Actually. Yeah, we'll go insert here and that and insert the place template. So we'll go insert uh, and we'll just insert it there. All right. So this is the actual page, right? And so you can make the page what you want it to be, but that you start there. Let me show you the, the secret hack that um, I had to figure out and I've done this in others before, but I don't know if I can do it here. So what you do is you come here, you click on the photo, right? And then you copy the URL where the photo is coming from. So let's do that. I'm going to copy the photo, copy, right? And then we're going to go to another window and then we're going to paste the, the, the photo there, right? We're going to paste a photo. What, what we're going to do then is we're going to right click and we're going to save image as 
So let's do that. So we're going to save image as, and we'll just put it right there. Just leave it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that in the folder. I'm going to show you the photo. And so what you then do is you right click on the photo. Right. And then you go to get info. You go to go in, go to get info and you're going to see what the actual size is. So the actual size is 688 by 1031. That's your size. So a lot of people may have known that already. Some people didn't, but that's the actual size of your photo right there. And then you just create a photo and just put it in its place. All right. So that's the secret hack to getting the actual sizes that you want for your particular uh, picture there. So that's the hack for that, right? I'm not going to go into that. It's not, let's be on the scope of this class. So what I want to do is I want to add, um, I want to add a new section, right? So I can come here and I can go, well, what kind of um, section do I want to add? I can add a courses section, right? These are the classes that are coming soon. So these are different course sections. Uh, this is a yoga course or something like that. So you can do a wait list. Uh, let's insert this one to see how that one does. So, th and then you just insert the wait list there. And then you can go here. You can do the same hack to get the pictures. If the pictures sit nicely in there, you definitely want to copy the size and dimensions and then drop them in a Canva or something like that and get the same size or something like that. Okay. And so then what you can put in here is you can just put a wait list. Um, you can put a wait list or form there and then highlight the button and then make the button go there. So if there's, you highlight the button and then you can say, okay, well, I want it to go to another page, right? And so those looks at, those look at your different pages that you already have in there, right? And so you can pick a page from there. I want mine. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, we'll just select another page. Um, coming soon. All right. And so then we'll save that. And so again, you just customize these. You can customize each button by just clicking on the button and then going over here and then adding the link or something that says join. Now we could say join later, right? And it gives you join later. Each one of these, if they're nesting, what happens is, is when the box is nest, you have to find the nest that you want. It's a little complicated, but if you're familiar with building out web pages, you'll see that they have nests to them. So, yeah. So let me go and let's save this and let's see how this works. And we'll do a preview on it and then we'll see what happens. So, um, so this is the page we have. We can come in here. Obviously, we can change this change the photo here again you can change this photo the same way you can figure out what size fits in there and then just drop that in there so that's how you can do that again it's the same same type of setup all right so we can save it here and then um what we can do is we'll go preview it so when we preview it right we can come here and person says oh yeah yeah so I have one here that already says live workshops. That's the one that I created, but I wanted to pick up that page when you click on this button. So I can put here live workshops, right? I can click on it and it automatically goes to that page. That's how that works. So um, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on easy course. I'm going to have a playlist of easy course. Some of the, some of the advanced techniques that I've learned and picked up along the way. All right. So as promised, I wanted to show you uh, the menu and how you set that up. Um, the menus, I think there's so much to customize in this program that you can get overwhelmed. Just to familiarize yourself with this, um, you can edit a page, you can build wherever it says build, that's where you're going to have your most customization, right? You're going to have your most customization or you can just clone a page. 
So when it says build, that's where you go in and you do all of your customizing and you put in all your links and all that. If you can only edit a page, that means you can just change a few different items on it. Like this page here, you can probably only change a few items on it. That's it. But build gives you the, the, the ability to create um, custom and go in and change the text and all that. So let's look at the menu, right? And the menu kind of throws you off a little bit. And let me let me share with you um, what I mean by that is this menu here, I can add, I can have a whole row of lines up here of different places for people to go. Or if they're in a, if they're in a um, mobile app, it's the hamburger button that sits off to the right and it gives you the list of options that you can do. That's the same thing as here. So these are the menus here. If I wanted to change or swap out, so let me let me show you what happens if I if I remove live workshops here, right? Let me remove live workshops. So so what you do is you go to all menu. Um, you go to all menu here, and then that's my primary menu. Right. If I wanted to make a second, I was going to make a secondary menu and then show that one and temporary until I got the other pages up. But I ended up getting the other pages up, so I didn't need to make that. But you can actually create a menu. So this is almost like if you use WordPress, right? You have a lot of customization on the menus and different things like that. This gives you that same ability. So what you do is you go here and you click edit and you edit menu. You're not going to break any of this stuff. Right. And so what you do here is you can go and you can add this is my current menu remember i told you that and i was going to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete live workshops all the menus are over here right those are all the menu items i can add them actually let me let me add my blog i'll just make it easier like that i'm not going to delete that i can actually just put it back so let me add blog so i'll add a blog to the menu right and then I can go in there. I can change the name of it. I don't want it to be blog or something. So then I save it out because this is my primary menu, right? So when you're building a page where I showed you earlier, where it asks you what menu do you want on that page? You can do a custom menu on each page or you can do the primary menu. So let's go take a look at the page now. So you can see here, I added blog here, right? It's not really going anywhere, um, but you can add blog here. Okay. So I added blog. Actually, what do we have here? Oh, it's just a generic page. I haven't did anything with that. So I, I don't think I'm gonna run a blog on this. I'm gonna run a, I'm gonna do something else. So that's what you have there, right? So we'll go back and we'll remove block. Actually, let's, let's edit it so you can see the power of that. So that's blog. I'll just put um, blogging, right? And just, we'll just hit OK there. Right. And so we'll change it to blogging. Right. We'll save the menus and we'll go visit the site again. So now it says blogging. Right. Still goes to the same thing, but it just says blogging now. So let's go back. Let's remove blogging from our menu. Save menus. Right. Go back. gone so you can add your custom page that's how i was able to add i created a custom page called live workshops and i just added it to my menu so if we go back there you can see it, it says live workshops or if i don't want live workshops to be in the third place i can just come down here and says you know what i want it to be last so i can save menus go back let's visit the site it's at the end live workshops but I set mine in order of prece precedence of how I wanted things to go. I wanted my help to be last. So let's go back. Let's move help. Let me move my live workshops back. After all solutions, I want them to see that I have a live workshop. Help is obviously at the end. I have a creator, creator bio and video library. So we'll go, we'll save menus. Got to save your menu. And we're back live workshops. Hey, this is again, this has been Jenny Jones. Um, go ahead and like subscribe. I'm going to do a ton of these small videos just so you can get an idea and, and navigate your way around uh, this particular uh, setup here. And, um, and we'll just go from there. All right, you guys take care. Goodbye for now.